Let's go to a correspondent in uh, the Savannah region, Christopher Marco, and uh, as he brings us updates on what the situation is in the region. Chris, thank you for joining us on Midday Live. How is the Savannah region looking like? Uh, how are people who want to re-register their SIM cards, how are they really? Yes, so uh, Crosby, the issue is that the SIM card re-registration exercise has uh, halted in uh, some parts of the Savannah region. Talk about uh, the Northeast Gonja district, the East Gonja municipality, the North Gonja, uh, Central Gonja, and other places. Uh, this is because uh, of the directive by the National Communication Authority to the mobile network operators to extend the registration exercise to some uh, places. So, as at Saturday, registration has uh, stalled in some. Uh, these parts of the uh, region. So uh, customers who come to re-register their yeah, same find it difficult to do so because when they come, they are told that uh, they should come next Monday to see if uh, the exercise will begin again. So as you can see in the background, this is one of the registration. This is supposed to be one of the registration centers, and a lot of people have been coming to ask uh, whether or not they could register their same card today. Unfortunately. Uh, they are being turned away and asked to come back next week Monday. And according to uh, the customers, it is really uh, difficult for them because they have left their villages and workplaces to come here only to go to go and return on Monday. Mm. Now, in the statement released, uh, it added that the mobile network operators uh, are to take urgent steps to, one, increase the number of agents or staff undertaking the capture of stage two of the exercise and opening up additional registration uh, points, as well as increase the number of devices they're using. Do you by chance of witness any improvements from the MNOs themselves? Yes, for now, that's according to the uh, agent who is doing the registration here the second phase here uh, he tells me that that is one of the reasons why they they have uh, closed the registration the re registration exercise so that they can identify some vantage point in the um, uh, 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 municipality here in Salaga for instance and also uh, 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 get more staff to help in that uh, uh, regard so for now uh, if you are in the Salaga area if you are in the northeast Gonja uh, district area if you are in the North Gonja district area, and you want to re register your state, we'll be asked to go and return on Monday. By then, they would have extended uh, the registration exercise to some other places. But if we see the number of agents who will be doing this uh, registration exercise, right? Uh, Chris, we're grateful. Thank you. Christopher Marco is our correspondent in the Savannah region. Let's take you to the Ashanti region. Well, but for network challenge that is causing delays in registering of SIM cards, some Telcom subscribers say the registration process has now improved. The usual congestion at some of the telecom offices for the registration exercise appear to have reduced following the deployment of more registration officials to fasting the process. The long queue at the various telecom offices continue to build up as subscribers race against time to register their SIM card. The Ministry of Communication has given up to March 31 for all subscribers to register their SIM card or forfeit it. But today, we've seen some level of improvement with the registration exercise, especially at some of the offices. Here at the MTN office at Maxima, it is being done in an orderly manner. And one thing we've also observed is that more officers have been employed to take part in the registration process the previous we will be monitoring this development and update you subsequently. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Kumasi.